pastors here. You can stand, pastors. Pastors who are here. Clap hands for our pastors who are here. Pastors, uh, you can sit down. God bless you. Welcome. I will tell you this about pastors. Pastors are people we need to respect. Uh, not because we are respecting them. But we respect God in them. But we must not worship them. But we must respect them. Number two, we must support them. By supporting them. Is God supporting them? And God will give you more to support them. I'm not saying do that because you want blessing from God. When you support them, you don't want blessing from them. You have the heart of supporting God's kingdom. You are when you are supporting them, you are supporting God's kingdom. I'll, I'll tell you this because uh, maybe it will help you in the future. You know, if you go to a Sangoma, you must give out money and you give, and you give them. The moment you take that money, you give them. You are supporting the God they are saving. You say they must carry on. I'm sure you understand that. So, look here. If God has called these pastors, and you are supporting them, God will make sure that He bless you more. But do you know that if truly He called them, and He don't support them, He can replace you. He can replace you. I can replace you. I can really replace you. I'm talking what I know. God can replace you. Because God has called them. He wants people to see that He has called them. And you are with them. And you are not doing anything. What you are doing, you are killing them. Fighting them, you are just sitting like a passenger. There are many things you can support the pastor. If you don't have money, you can go to them and say, What is it that I can do in the church? Already, automatically, you are open for a bigger assignment there. They can tell you, All right, we don't have a person. Who carry papers outside here? Do it. When I do it, and do it when you are praying, praising God. From there, you'll be surprised. God can give you another job. Number three, we must not be selfish. God can give you another job. 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 Anything is doing this work for me. So let me bless him to do this. That is why a person can be an usher tomorrow as a man of God. I'm sure I understand what I'm trying to say. So don't be tired. These people need support. And you cannot be, you know, supported. In your calling, if you don't support others. Because the Bible says, when you are faithful in small, you'll be faithful in much. But if you are faithful in, in someone's thing, you'll be given, you'll be given your own. But if you fail, how can you be faithful on your own? You cannot be entrusted in your own. I'm just trying to say that. One of our challenges, we, we, are, we are not supporting these pastors. And by doing that, we are fighting the kingdom. We are, we are fighting the kingdom. That is why today we have got Church of what word? Church of That's what? Church, church of what? We are not Christians. 
if truly we are Christians, there will be no church of God. Like myself here, I'm Charis here. If we ask this pastor here, Let's ask them their names of the chair. You will are, hear are different names here. You will realize that. What's the name of your church, sir? Reconciliation for Oppressed. Reconciliation. 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 Healing Power Ministries. Huh? Healing Weight Power Ministries. Healing. Healing Weight Power Ministries. Anyway. Family Worship <laughs> Center. Huh? Family Worship Center. Family Worship Center. Power of Restoration. Power Restoration. Family Worship Center. Family Worship Center. Spirit Worship Soldiers Church. Spirit Worship. Spirit Worship Soldiers Church. Spirit Worship Soldier. Light of Glory International Church. Light of Glory uh, International. Come to Jesus Ministries. Come to Jesus Ministry. Come to Jesus Ministries. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus Ministry. Come to Jesus. Showers of life. Showers of life. Showers of life in terms. Showers of life. Assemblies of God. Assemblies of God. You can hear, it's wonderful you hear all these names. Showers of life. Showers, uh, flowers uh, of roses. <laughs> uh, it's so wonderful to hear. It's not, it's not nice. And all for what? For Jesus. All for what? You, you, you can be... I'm trying to make you to understand. Showers of what? I mean, I, I love showers. <laughs> I love showers. I, when I reach home, if I feel tired, I just go to the shower. I, <laughs> shower. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, that's what I'm trying to say. That all these names is to glorify who? The Lord Jesus Christ. Whether you are uh, I mean, Ponda uh, African Church, or I mean, whatever, any church, any name, you name it. If truly we are talking about Jesus, so use yourself. You don't care which name. When you are there, you no, know, your your duty is to support that vision, support that vision, support that vision. You will never know if this vision is right if you are not committed to it. And God will never tell you anything. The reason why many of us, we are blind. We are in a church that we don't support. And God can't tell us anything. What do you want to know about this ministry, whereas you are not even focused on it? You are not even 100% on it. So now, the reason why many of us, we are poor, is because when we are in the church, that we are not so much full. Fullness in that church. But if you are there, You'll be surprised when you sleep. Ah, you, you see your pastor ministering to you. From there you say, ah, I see this. Ah, from there you, you hear that go there and win whom whom. But since you came here, you have never won anybody. And if it, nobody, even your neighbor, doesn't even know you go to church. So I believe this year you'll be fruitful. So what we need to do now is let's support them. If we want to hear God speaking. So now, when you are taking your money, you are giving to this pastor. You are supporting, you are praying for him. You will hear one day God say, Hey, I didn't call that man. Get out from that place. Can you see now? You have got a direction now because you will do what is right. So don't judge when you are doing wrong. Judge when you are doing right. Because when you judge when you are doing wrong, you will be judged. Congratulations.